Hello everyone, I'm Glitch Boxing and welcome back to another one of my videos. In today's video we're going to be going over five different weak spots on the body that you can exploit in a boxing match primarily, but you can use it in the street or an MMA match too. Now before we get into it, before we start, it's important to note that these areas are best exploited when your opponent doesn't see it coming. So this is why things like fainting, triggering or like setting up shots correctly are so effective. For example, you've got Joshua and Ngannou. It looks like a regular knockout, but if you look at, it and look at it and break it down, it's not. Okay, so the first area we're going to talk about is the solar plexus. If you've ever been caught here before, it feels like you've had the absolute wind knocked out of you. You can't breathe, and it, it causes a lot of pain too. Um, and what causes that is a temporary paralysis of the diaphragm. And it lasts up to a few seconds or up to a few minutes. Um, the pain should subside, but that is the shot. It will stop the fight. No doubt about it. Okay, so number two, and this is an orthodox's best friend if you're fighting a southpaw, but the liver, located just on the right side of the body, um, roughly the same height as the solar plexus, but just off to the right. If you get caught here, you're going to know all about it. It hurts a lot. It's probably, I would argue, the worst place to get punched. So when you get hit in the liver, what happens is it shuts down momentarily and it causes a disruption in the blood flow. And on top of that, it leaves you in crippling pain as well. So if you've ever been caught there, you know, you know what it is. I don't have to explain that to you. I would argue that a good body shot to either liver, solar plexus, or the next one we're going to talk about, is worse than any head shot because these shots will leave you in crippling pain. So you get caught in a good shot uh, with a good shot on the chin, you go down, you've got to sleep. Where you get caught in the body, it is painful. And anyone who's been through it will know you. Let them know in the comments if you've been through it. Okay, so the third place I'm going to talk about are the float ribs. Just located, you'll feel them on the bottom of your ribs there, the last two. Um, primarily ribs number 11 and 12. Because ribs 11 and 12 are not attached to the sternum like the other ribs, this allows for easy injury. So when you get caught in the floating ribs, or the, you, know, you come down, it allows for easier breaking, essentially. Moving on to number four now. We got, we're moving upstairs. We're going to the chin, the classic glass jaw. Everyone's heard it before. What happens is when you get caught in the chin, it shakes and rattles your head severely, which causes your brain to bump against your, in, in a bit of your skull, and that will just shut your brain off. It will... So when you get caught in the chin, this is where you see people have like jelly legs. If they're not shut off immediately, they have, you know, when they hit the brain, it causes things like jelly legs, uh, blurry vision, and stuff like that. Now it's important to note as well that you can't train your chin. You can't take repeated hits to the chin and expect for that chin to get better like you could your shin. Actually, it's shown that the opposite is probably true, mostly. Don't be having people punch you in the chin to try and condition your chin because that's not going to work for you. <laughs> the only way that you actually can train to take a better shot really is to increase your neck strength with things like neck exercises. Um, I have a program in my bio if any of you want to take a look at that. I can help you out with your neck strength. So the fifth and final one we're going to talk about today and probably the most dangerous one out of a lot is the temple. Now the temple are where four different bones fuse together in the skull and it's a very very weak point in your skull so I wouldn't be trying to hit people especially in a street fight in the temple unless you want to kill them. A proper and severe hit to the temple can lead to severe and excessive pressure on the brain uh, which can lead to oxygen deprivation essentially so it's a very dangerous area but it's still a very very weak spot on the body and probably the weakest one on the head. Um, but it's extremely dangerous, so I wouldn't be trying to hit people there unless you want to go to prison. So the bone structure in the temple as well is weaker than any other area on the skull, which makes it the weak spot. Okay, everyone, that concludes this week's video. If you like this video, please leave a comment. Let me know if you liked it. Let me know what you'd like different. Or let me know if you'd like me to discuss anything else that's on your mind, and we'll get to it. Thank you for watching.